Snapchat has been messing up massively. I've literally lost probably all the footage that I took from today, apart from photos. They've all just failed to upload and deleted. That's really annoying. Basically, you missed us talking about maximum probable volume relating to walking, having grilled, and a Subway salad. So I had meant to be Australia's best ice cream. I had basically a coffee and chocolate peanut butter flavour. And now we're sitting in Starbucks and I got a skinny cappuccino which is really nice. We've got a little frappuccino and we're probably going to head out for dinner but it's really annoying they deleted all that. The most exciting thing was actually catching footage of some competition water skiing which is really cool on the south bank. All Snapchat managed to keep were those crummy photos you saw although they were pretty cool magnets but why keep that? That is just not useful content. And we walked through Little Italy, which basically had an Italian and gelato every single stop. It was pretty amazing and very, very tempting. I think we tend to learn our lesson. We're kind of used to London being open all the time. You can go out and eat, like, really late. Whereas here, you just can't. I bet you we're going to struggle to find a restaurant open. It has also been raining, and we have not got an umbrella, so that's going to be fun as well. So apparently in Melbourne, you can actually eat out late, even on a weekday, which is pretty good for us. And um, we've come out and in typical style, two margaritas. And Charlotte, what is it you really wanted to do tonight? C. R. Crunk. <laughs> so Charlotte wants to get crunk. She completely just forgot for some reason that she wanted to get crunk. I was like, I'll get crazy, you can get drunk, because I'm that good. I completely forgot to share with you that yesterday when we came in, Charlotte set off the airport security. Didn't you, Charlotte? Maybe. So basically, Charlotte went to the toilet and took off her ring. I have no idea why. Left it in the toilet. Then after we went through security, she started running backwards and all the alarms. <laughs> That's literally what was happening. She turned around, ran, and then all of the alarms went off. I think they even started shouting. Yeah, apologies, apparently it's normal to take off your rings when you wash your hands, this is a normal thing, so... Everything was okay in the end, I thought the alarms off went for some other reason. Here are margarita pizzas, both got the same, they're looking pretty darn good, quite a good size as well. So just walking along the bridge, and this was here, proper squat rack, proper everything, pretty cool gym, $10 casual visit. Just walking along and then I just see all these flames start popping up over here. And it must just happen all the time because no one else seems bothered, but... It's a long way to come here, so we're glad it's open and we're very... Wet. Got the Capricosa, which looks insanely good. Charlotte got the Dot Margarita. So I think that might have been like the eighth time or something I've had pizza. Definitely the best one. It was very good. We getting ice cream and three scoops are on the go. rare occasions for me where I have no idea what the macros are, I really don't care, I'm just going to enjoy it and get back on it another day. That was a very, very good gelato, I realised I really need three scoops each, probably would have been better off sharing three scoops. If I were to estimate the macros, probably be around 600, 700, maybe even up, upwards, but had uh, the trouble was having the Nutella on top. We have to remember, although I'm not exercising formally, like doing anything like in the gym, although I might tomorrow morning, we have been averaging probably around 25,000 steps. And this is a one-off, although it's happened a few one-offs during this holiday. It's not like we've overeaten every single day. So we're probably okay. And we're back. And we didn't think we'd hit 20,000 steps today, but we have. when you save all your macros for a meal out and it all fits. <laughs> this is probably the best gym, the coolest gym 
I've ever been in has everything you could possibly No, it's a bloody good gym when they've got not just one calf machine, 60 degree calf machine, not just two, but three calf machines, all of them Cybex, hunt like awesome quality, all of them extremely comfortable to use unlike most calf machines. If I didn't have to leave, I probably would never ever leave. Because that gym is out of bounds. The best gym I've ever been in. Definitely more for the power, uh, sorry, bodybuilder than a powerlifter, but they do have the ability to powerlift, elipo platforms, just not loads of that sort of stuff. Now I've got to get ready to pack because we're due out by 11, and I believe it's just gone 10, so a bit of time. So if anyone on Snapchat follows me who lives in Melbourne, 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 or is visiting, $10 to go to Doherty's 24 hour gym. It is on the, kind of underneath the train station, uh, next to South Bank, just down from the aquarium. Say that, and you definitely get what, what you pay for, essentially, is what we found out. You get what you pay for in life. They charge you for Wi Fi, they charge for a late checkout or slightly delayed checkout. Yeah, they had an early checkout. They just look after your bags for the day, but here they charge for that. The room also smelt and the beds weren't great and just generally... Basically I don't recommend the Great Southern Hotel. Don't go there. To our left is Luna Park, which is a quite cool, massive scary circus face. So you do get a pretty good view of the city centre down there from this beach now packed, full of people. Me and Charlotte had a pretty good chat about kind of how restaurants, well how food fat essentially just makes food taste good. Cool. Restaurants don't care about the toilet. And when I opened the poached eggs and toast, the toilet was full of poached eggs because they didn't want any oil. So it was kind of a bit frustrating. And it's like when we order, say, like a Sunday or a Chino, we always add kind of cream on top unless you ask for it. It's just really, really windy. Essentially, with restaurants, you have to do a bit of damage control, ask for things on the sides, ask for things without butter, and even using things like your your napkin to kind of dab up any kind of excess oil or butter that you don't really want. It as soon as you've done it once, you don't feel weird doing it again. And of course, you can select foods that you think are going to be less oily, less greasy. So, like with the curries, I said before, you can select dry curries, things like that. I'm hoping I'm blocking the wind out for you guys and for me to look out later. It's a really nice view across Melbourne City. Just had some drinks with a Charlotte's friend who moved to Australia and Charlotte is drunk. She's actually drunk, so she's let me film her. And We're heading to the Eureka Sky Deck, which got the best view of kind of the whole of Melbourne. Hopefully we'll catch sunset because it should be good boy and just had a skinny cappuccino at the ref bar but Charlotte had two drinks. She's had two drinks on an empty stomach. So St Kilda where we were today is down here. Over here you can just about see the tennis courts, the blue courts from the Australian Open.